Monday, the Minnesota College Athletic Conference decided to cancel all fall sports this year, putting Rochester community and technical college athletes in a pretty tough spot. That's right. Our Garrett Short has more. At the back of my head, I always knew it could happen, but I didn't really think it was going to happen. Monday was the beginning of a nightmare for RCTC athletes. Now, all of a sudden, just coach says, you know, football's canceled, and you just see everybody's heads drop, and the room goes silent. Fall sports have been axed by the MCAC, stealing the chance to compete away from over a hundred young RCTC athletes. I still thought I would have this season to go through. I've been playing volleyball for like eight years, so it's just not something that I want to end on. For sophomores on the volleyball team like Molly Kleist, they were ready to try and improve on their national quarterfinals appearance from last season. I feel like we just would have had so much potential to do great things and now we don't get that this year, so it's just, it's an awful feeling. The Yellow Jackets have a chance to keep a year of eligibility and play in the fall of 2021. One, two, three, five! Or they could leave the hive and transfer to another school. It was pretty devastating and it was definitely a mad dash to find colleges that were still open and still having a soccer season. Jayla Hill has chosen to transfer, but others aren't so keen on leaving RCTC, which has become home, or their teammates, which have become family. Soccer was my friend and my family here in Minnesota. Kind of sucks that I'm going to go into this next school year going onto campus and not seeing any new faces from soccer. For some Yellow Jackets, getting the chance to compete next year is worth the wait. In Rochester, Garrett Short, ABC 6 News.